The Hadza tribe, Africa's oldest hunter-gatherers. Nestled beneath the expansive canopies of the Serengeti Plains resides a truly unique community, the Hadza tribe. Their existence, distinct in every aspect from their lifestyle to their worldview, offers a profound contrast to contemporary norms. To understand the Hadza is to glimpse into a world that operates in inverse to our own. The Hadza tribe, also known as the Hadzabe, inhabit the Lake Iasi region near Tanzania's Serengeti National Park. For millennia, their numbers have remained small, with only a few hundred individuals sustaining their way of life. Primarily opportunistic hunters, the Hadza's survival hinges on their ability to navigate the wilderness. While birds and small game form their primary prey, they occasionally hunt antelopes. An intriguing aspect of their existence is their affinity with street dogs, considering them as pets and offering them care. The Hadza Way of Life Hadza camps at the dense forest landscapes, devoid of agriculture or domesticated animals. This tribe holds a unique privilege, they are the only ones permitted to hunt freely in the wild, as hunting constitutes their primary means of sustenance. Clothing crafted from animal skins and adorned with animal skulls define their attire and surroundings. Unlike other settled communities, the Hadza lead a nomadic lifestyle, shifting locations based on climatic conditions and resource availability. They eschew the construction of permanent shelters, opting instead for the natural refuge of tree canopies and stone caves. Dietary Habits Hunting and gathering serve as the cornerstone of the Hadza diet. Their meals comprise a diverse array of small and large game, echoing the dietary patterns of our ancient ancestors. In addition to meat, they forage for various berries, fruits, and tubers, while wild honey provides a sweet delicacy. Water, a vital necessity, is primarily sourced from natural water bodies such as Lake Iasi and the Rift Valley. Hunting Techniques The Hadza employ age-old techniques in their pursuit of game, utilizing bows and arrows crafted from bamboo and wood. These tools, coupled with their adeptness in the art of tracking and stalking prey, allow them to navigate the intricacies of the forest with precision. Group hunts, consisting of three to five individuals, target a single species at a time, showcasing the collective effort required for success. Despite their small numbers, the Hadza exhibit unparalleled efficiency in hunting, a testament to their ancestral skills. Cultural Dynamics the Hadza's cultural landscape is devoid of conventional structures such as religion or formalized beliefs. Unfettered by the constraints of time or historical events, their existence is characterized by a simplicity that transcends centuries. In their leisure moments, the Hadza engage in communal singing and dancing, providing a glimpse into their vibrant social fabric. Homeless by conventional standards, they find solace under the open skies, kindling campfires to ward off the nocturnal chill. Community Governance Interestingly, the Hadza operate without formalized community rules or regulations. Their governance is rooted in an intuitive understanding of nature's rhythms and cycles. Rules, when formed, are transient and subject to change, reflecting the fluidity of their societal norms. Despite numerous attempts by external entities to influence their way of life, the Hadza remain steadfastly independent. Their resilience and self-sufficiency underscore their commitment to preserving their ancestral traditions. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's embark on a journey through the ages together. Ancient wonders unveiled awaits you.